Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy and today is a special day, it is an exciting day uh, at least for me because as you would see on the thumbnail I've decided finally to upgrade all of my cookware and replace it with a famous French brand that I've chosen and the finalist has been Moviel1839. If you don't know anything about that brand, don't worry, we're going to cover this into detail there's plenty of things we need to talk about i've got some announcements to make and we need to discuss exactly about the cookware what that's going to mean for the channel for the cooking for the recipes etc etc all the juicy details coming up okay let's start so first question out of the way you may wonder why now why did i choose to upgrade now because the channel has just reached 400,000 subscribers a huge milestone and before we reach the half a million mark i wanted to improve a lot of things on the channel there's a lot of changes that are going to come on the channel and try to uh, improve some things but the first one i wanted to do is this cookware I've been using random cookware for years. I will still be using my Le Creuset, of course, cast iron pan, but for the general cookware, like saucepan, frying pan, saute pan, saucier, saucier styles of pan, I wanted to work with one brand. Of course, the choice of brand for me, it has to be French. I wanted something of quality. And the one that I decided to go with is Moviel 1830. If you don't know Moviel, it's considered to be the Rolls Royce of French cookware, uh, you'll find in the video description a link to their catalogue, the history and everything. Uh, and we're going to talk in more details uh, about why I choose the, uh, this brand, I'll show you the pans, etc, etc. We do an unboxing of one to show you the type of quality. Uh, but one of the reasons I've also choose that, uh, that brand is because they are quite rare to see uh, anywhere on YouTube, or on, online or even on the internet, to see anyone cooking with these pans. Because you see these were reserved for professionals. Uh, not so long ago, Movia was only selling pans to professionals working in restaurants. I mean, you, you, you had to have a restaurant to be able to buy their pans. And I really wanted to experience uh, these pans and share it with you guys. Uh, so what's going to happen moving forward on the channel is that I am going to be using only Movia cookware and you're going to be able to see exactly how these pans perform. And not only uh, the, you know, the standard pan, we're going to look at the sauce pan and the saute pan, the frying ones, the saucier pan, the rondo, how to use them, what situation, what kind of cooking can we do with these and exactly see how they perform. Okay, so this is one of the main thing as well. It's not just for me, but I want you to be able to, of course, see these pans and perhaps you know, if you like these pans, then you may be able to get some. And this is bringing me to my next point with a little bit of an announcement. All right, so what is this little announcement? It is just to do uh, with uh, where to find this cookware. Now, as some of you know, I live in Australia and buying cookware in Australia, like, you know, quality stuff, usually is marked up 30 to 50% above the retail price all the time. It's impossible to buy good quality cookware. Yet alone these ones, they are hard to find in any shops. <laughs> but uh, if you want to buy them, it will cost you the earth. So how on earth did I manage to find that? Well, this is the little announcement. By doing some research, I found a little boutique shop in Melbourne, based in Australia, called philipenley.com.au. And it so happens, they are the number one importer of Moviel cookware with an exclusivity uh, and to be a stockist. They got 400 items in their warehouse available. I've never seen this. And these pans are already hard to find, but they got the, the, the whole collection. Uh, they got anything you want. You can order on the catalog from front if you wish, but they already have 400 items in stock. So that is huge. Next comes with the price. As you know in Australia, even in America or anywhere in the world, these things are never the same price as in France. Well, let, you, let me tell you one thing, Philippe and Lee, with that agreement, they are selling, they are selling everything Moviel at the same price it is sold in France. If you live in Australia and you go to the website, you're going to fall off your chair. Okay, if you've been dreaming of getting those, it is now reality. And look at this. 
How on earth did I manage to get this? Not only because the price is like the French price, but if you order more than one pan, you can get up to 30% discount, which is what I got, look at this. 30% discount on mobile cookware down to the French price. I've never ever dreamed of saying something like this. And this is not an affiliation. It is not for me. It is not a special deal. This is just business as usual at philippeandlee.com. They're the number one place to go for Moviel cookware. I'm telling you right now, I've dreamed of getting those and now this is reality. I've got my order today and I'm over the moon. So you'll find all the details in the video description and with the name of the, uh, the website, the address, and I also put a link to the entire catalog from Moviel, where you're gonna discover the history, what is Moviel cookware, and honestly, these pans, they are beautifully crafted. It's absolutely crazy to have this in front of me, and that's what we're gonna be talking about right now. All right, so like I said, usually these are luxury items. This is where you get all this fancy packaging, but now, with Philip and Lee, honestly, it's crazy. This is just affordable, like a pan you would buy in any shop. Okay, so what's the experience? You get a box. This is a saute pan, 20 centimeter. So inside the box, we got that thing. Let me get rid of that. All right, so the pan is nicely, my God, the wrapping is crazy. And then you've got the pan. Let's see, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, here's the pan. So if you've been always curious about Movio cookware, this is the M Cook series, and this is 20 centimeters, which is about 10 inches when you get the pan. And there's a little manual here with the instruction how to care for it. And of course, it's typical French, <laughs> the memories. So it's tell you the little how to cook something. There was a little recipe, how to cook vegetables, how to cook fish, and to be made for everything. And, oh, this is important. Now that is what I'm talking about. You see that little paper here? It says in French, contrôlé par Carole, which means that has been uh, checked by one uh, lady called Carole. Hmm? Carol. So someone, like a human person, is not a robot or in a factory that is automated. Someone took that pan, turned it around, looked for the finishing, uh, the riveting, anything, and check, okay, is this pan okay? Yes, the quality is there and she put a little thing, the pan is good to go and now it is in my kitchen. This is mind blowing. That's the type of quality that you get at Moviel. Huh? It is really that passion for cookware. Quite amazing. Now, in terms of technicalities, this is the M Cook series that I went for with the cast iron handle. And let's talk very briefly about the handle. It is very long. Uh, I like the ergonomic. There's a dent here. So when you hold it, you can put your thumb in there, which is very practical. It looks a bit narrow, but when you hold it like this, it's all right. But you can also hold it like this, the old fashioned with two hands if it's too heavy. The reason why it's narrow, because this is meant for professional. And in the professional world, you always kind of use a tita like this to hold your pen, you see. So these are made basically with this in mind. But I think that's as a bill to avoid that also the handle hits too much, which is pretty good. In terms of the riveting, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's insane. That's built like a tank. Huge riveting on here. This is not gonna go anywhere. That pen is also 2.6 millimeter thick, meaning it's thick, uh, but not too thick, okay? But it's got really, it's sturdy. It is built again like a tank. Now, if you turn it around, you will see that this is totally smooth. Now, this is the technique they use as Moviel, and this is a, uh, there's five layers in there. And I think there is uh, three layers of aluminum, one layer of stainless steel standard inside, and on the outside is a stainless steel that's got more iron into it to make it compatible with induction. Uh, it is advertised that this system here, that looks like one piece of metal, actually, but it's not, it's actually uh, different layers of metal, uh, it's 50% more efficient than this, which is the, this is a De Beyer standard version, and that's got a kind of a sandwich bottom. The sandwich bottom is basically a piece of metal that they stick on there on the pan, but the rest of the pan is super thin. See this? That's thin. And that, that's thick. Just by the noise, we can tell. So now let me briefly take you what I bought this size of pen. 
Right, so I'm gonna go by category because really in this kitchen are really running out of space and space is one of the other improvements that is on the menu. We'll talk about this later. But for now, let's do uh, with the space we have. So, saucepans, and this is the saucier pan. It is a rounded saute pan. Of course, the, I think the slate saute pan, as you can see, it's like a saucepan, huh, but it's got these round edges. What's the use of it? The saucepan, you know, you're gonna you know, warm up liquids and anything like this. This is especially made for sauce making or anything that's a bit round. You can caramelize onion and you can shake your pan like that and anything round is gonna roll around. If you use a whisk, huh, we're gonna be able to whisk like this and that's just the right shape, you see? Huh? So you can whisk absolutely everything in your pan. And in uh, our recipe of the week, actually, we're gonna make a crème bavaroise. We're gonna start straight away using this, okay? Next on the list, of course, is the frying pan. The frying pan, everybody knows that. This is the all-rounder to cook steak, to cook fish, to cook anything you want, and you're gonna be basically pan frying. But this here, this is the sauté pan. Sauté pan is like a frying pan, but it's got these high edges, and it is used, as its name implies, to sauté things. Yeah? So when you make, for instance, a fricassé of lamb or fricassé of chicken, anything that you're gonna be searing meats and then cook it with a sauce, not in the oven, for something that's gonna stay on the stove, that is gonna be the pan you're gonna be using. Once uh, you want to reduce, for instance, a sauce or a stock with this large surface and the ability to have plenty of liquid, that is also the pan you're gonna be using. So you see, it's a very, very useful pan to have. The uh, frying pan looks like this, and uh, you all know, classic, I've got different size, uh, nothing new there. And now to finish off, we've got a two specialty pan. I've got the rondo and the round pan uh, with leads. I'm gonna remove the leads so you can have a better view here. The rondo is a low profile uh, style of stock pot where you're gonna be making a preparation that starts on the stove. Now we're gonna be searing some ingredients, cook in a sauce and finish to cook this in the oven covered. It is best used basically uh, for things that don't cook very long in the oven. So I'm talking about a navarin of lamb, for instance. You could use this, or you could make a bouillabaisse, you could make a little amount of stock. Huh? But it is a very, very handy pan. And look at these handles. Huh? They're really, really handy. And it's a very, very versatile little pan. This is more like, it's called a round pan. It's a bit of a specialty. The big thing that this has is that you can start to cook on the stove. And you can make a risotto, you can make a pile, a little bit of rice, and that can go from the stove to the table. And this is a new style of, of, of cookware that looks very elegant. And you see there's these nice handles, and you're gonna bring this on the table when it's done. You don't have to have a serving dish. And so you can cook your thing and then put this on the table. Very handy. And that completes my little showcase and the brand new range of cookware I'm going to be using moving forward on the channel. All the Moviel range, I'm going to be adding more pans as time goes, maybe working with uh, copper cookware because that's one of their specialty. But the French Cooking Academy is officially becoming the number one place you're going to be able to see Moviel cookware in action. There's basically no one else doing this. So if you like this cookware, you're going to see for real how these things perform. For the orders of the pan, philippenly.com at AU shipping only to New Zealand and Australia at the moment, but very shortly they told me they will start shipping across the world. So if you're watching anywhere the channel, you're gonna be able to see this pan if you like it, go on the site and you're gonna be able to order anything you want. I'll see you tomorrow for the first recipe, crème bavaroise using Hamoviel rounded sauté pan and see how it performs. See you there.